The state of Virginia has the well-documented history of first contact between the English settlers and a giant-like people called the Mound Builders. These giants ruled the eastern half of North America for thousands of years, and in Virginia they were called the Powhatans. Join me as I dive into the fascinating history of Virginia, the Mound Builders, and their first contact with Europeans as I search to uncover proof of the North American Giants. Hello, my name is Jenna Bosiger, and thank you for watching this exciting episode about the history of the Mound Builder Giants in Virginia. Using the documented events and illustrations detailed by the Europeans, there is proof about first contact made in Virginia with the ancient giants they met upon first arriving to the state. And there's evidence of what happened to them. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe for more fascinating history of the giants in North America. So the history of the Mound Builder Giants that occupied Virginia is illustrated with great accuracy and detail, as is the history about what happened to them. Using detailed maps of the land and illustrations of the giants that were sent back to the Queen of England, these documents and illustrations are historically accurate because if they weren't, the chosen Englishmen would have been executed by the Queen of England. When the Queen sent over the first explorers, she sent professionals at war, at making maps, and at accurately describing the layout of the land and the ruling class using illustrations. These detailed descriptions were true and realistic because this information was being sent back to the Queen of England, and their objective was to take over the land and eliminate the ruling class of people. So descriptions of both had to be specific and 100% truthful in every detail. This was the information they would use to know what they were up against. These maps and illustrations were not exaggerated, made up, or hoaxes, because this is the information they used to take over the land the resources, and eliminate the competition. They needed to know exactly who they were taking the land from, where they were located, and where their leaders were. These first English settlers were not amateurs at taking over countries from the ruling class. This was an experienced group of map makers, illustrators, and military. These Europeans were there on a mission to claim ownership of this new country. And this is what they did. And it was their job to illustrate the people realistically to report back to the queen. All the maps they made are accurate. And so are the illustrations and descriptions of the giant-like people that controlled Virginia at the time of their arrival. We can trust the history of first contact with the mound builders in Virginia. So what does the history say about them? And what does it say happened to them? When the English first arrived to Virginia... The mode of operations is to come in as friends, have them tell you everything about who they are, where the leaders are, and where to find them. This is the first stage. It's the surveying and exploring and mapping out the details of what they found upon arrival. As is portrayed in this old illustration of the historical events that occurred upon first contact with the ruling giants and upon arrival. The name of the ruling class giants that lived in Virginia were the Sowatans, just up the Chesapeake Bay and into the Susquehanna River were the Susquehannocks. The Susquehannocks and the Powhatans were the same type of giants, like the people who occupied different parts of the country. The Powhatans were centralized in Jamestown, and this is where the showdown would begin. So Virginia is also one of the most important states when it comes to its location, geological features, and it is a very strategic state because of the three major rivers that end in the Chesapeake Bay. They were vital for taking over the country and accessing the interior. The Chesapeake Bay ends with the mighty Susquehanna River that goes into the forests up into Pennsylvania, and all along the banks of the Susquehanna River were settlements of the Susquehanna Giants. Now, the Potomac River, which winds through the Appalachian Wilderness, was also reported to have the Powhatan Mound Builder Giants occupying the banks of the Potomac River. And the mighty James River, which also snakes through the Appalachian wilderness, was also heavily occupied by the Powhatan Giants. 
the James River and the Potomac River took the Europeans into the lush Virginia wilderness, which includes the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Shenandoah Wilderness, and the Appalachian Mountains. These would have been very important and strategic locations for accessing the interior into the wilderness areas, and these three rivers ended on the east coast in the Chesapeake Bay. Now, when the English arrived, the mound builders of Virginia were called the Powhatans. They were centralized in Jamestown. This was occupied by the Powhatans, and they had ruled this land for thousands of years. But with the endless boatloads of people coming into Virginia from the east, settling into Jamestown, and basically taking over with their great numbers, the Powhatans decided to fight to keep control of this very important main settlement of Jamestown. So they fought back in the form of a surprise massacre in the very city today known as Jamestown. Little did the Powhatans know, little did the Susquehannocks know, that this flow of people coming into the country would be so massive and completely unstoppable because the flow of people entering this country from overseas, it hasn't stopped to this very day. It is continuing. There's really no end in sight. And there would have been no way they could have ever remained in power. It was a total takeover, and it continued with the extirpation of the giants, followed by the removal of Native Americans, continuing with the hunting of all the top predators, bears, cougars, and wolves, to total and complete extinction. And then, at the same time, cutting down most of the forests and the wildlife habitat. This was all done by the 1900s. And then, of course, the nonstop construction that continues to this very day. The history of Virginia is clear, and it proves that the English had a pattern of extirpating people, animals, and forest. When the Powhatans tried to keep their power in Jamestown, and they did so in the form of a massacre on the group of settlers in their main and central area of Virginia, which was Jamestown, this sealed their fate. Because even though the takeover was inevitable, when they decided to massacre the settlers in their central city of Jamestown, this made the English feel justified in extirpating every last mound builder to extinction. And they did not have any respect for their memory in this process. So they extirpated them physically, and they also tried to erase them from ever having existed at all. Which brings us to the state seal of Virginia, the flag, and the story of how Virginia was taken over from the native ruling class of giants, the Powhatans. The evidence of this history is crystal clear. The war and the takeover in the state of Virginia from the human giant-like species of mound builders. It is documented in history with the original maps made by the English and the state seal. Facts. These mound builder giants were actually easily eliminated. Even though they were bigger and stronger, it did not help them win the war. Because the Europeans were basically an invasive species, the English came with guns. And it was like bringing a knife to a gunfight in the wars. It did not matter how strong they were. The British were using guns in a knife fight. And that is how they took over North America and the state of Virginia. They extirpated all of the living giants, and the only way any of them would have had any chance for survival would have been to go hiding underground. Here we have the very strategic state of Virginia. As you can see, there is a pattern, but I'll get into that later with the cryptids. This is the map that I made of hotspots in the state of Virginia. And as you can see, it is very strategically located. And the, and the three very important rivers, they all end in this Chesapeake Bay. And if you follow the Chesapeake Bay all the way up to its end, you'll see that it ends with the, the Susquehanna River, which winds all the way into the state of Pennsylvania and there were Susquehannocks occupying the banks all along this river, which goes and winds all the way into the forests in the state of Pennsylvania. 
occupied by the Susquehannock Giants. And then coming back down from the Chesapeake Bay into the state of Virginia, you've got the mighty Potomac River. And the Potomac River also had these Powhatan giants all occupying the banks of the river. But this river was strategic for entering the interior of the state. And it takes you all the way into the magnificent Appalachian wilderness areas. And the other major river is the James River. And right here is the Jamestown central location of the Powhatan giants. But they were occupying the banks of the James River as well. And this James River is so strategically important because it goes all the way into this magnificent wilderness area in the state of Virginia, which includes part of the Blue Ridge Mountains, part of the Appalachian Wilderness, and the Shenandoah Wilderness. But this area was occupied by the Giants. Their central location was in what is now Jamestown. Let's now take a look at this illustration documenting the events that took place upon first contact. So they come in as friends, get a scope of the land, find out who the rulers are, where they're at, and how to access them. And you can see here that John Smith is attacking and about to eliminate one of the giants. When we call them giants, they're like seven or eight feet tall. And look at his muscles in his body. This is not a normal human. This is a mound builder giant that once ruled North America for thousands of years. And John Smith wasted no time in eliminating the leaders and going to war using guns against these bow and arrows. It was very easy to take over. And here you can see John again with a different leader that he is about to completely eliminate. And this is what they did. This was their MO. This is how they went about conquering places and locations. And you can see that some of these are giants and others in the same group are not. But these giant mound builders are not human. They were not the Native Americans that we know of today. But there's a definite pattern of behavior because after eliminating and extirpating the giants, they moved on to eliminating all the wolves, all the cougars, all the bears. And by 1900, almost all of the forest had been chopped down. And there was no way that these giants were ever going to maintain control over this country because the English came in to conquer, to take over, and to eliminate the competition. And after this Jamestown massacre, there was nothing holding the English back from completely eliminating them all and doing so, feeling that they were justified in doing so. And these boatloads of people have not stopped coming to this day. There was no way that they ever could have maintained power. But when they, when they massacred these Jamestown settlers, it really gave the English the justification they needed to take over the country and to completely extirpate these giants from existence, not only physically, but also their memory. They tried to wipe them out completely. And that's what extirpation means, to pull out from the roots, eliminate completely. Not only did they physically eliminate them, but they also eliminated their memory. But all the information is here. And here is a map that was sent back to the Queen of England. And this map has to be accurate. This Chesapeake Bay is accurate. The location of all these rivers is accurate. And the description of the ruling class of mound builders is also accurate. So what other things were they putting on this map? They were putting the places where there were battles. They were putting where the kings lived and where the ordinary people lived. And here you can see a Susquehannock giant. And it says about them, the Susquehannocks are a giant-like people and thus a tyrid. 
Let's take a look now at the state seal for Virginia, the seal that describes how Virginia came into the control of the English. Now it says basically death to tyrants. And you can see the crown over here from this one that has been eliminated by weapons, meaning completely ended. This is the state seal for the state of Virginia. It says death to tyrants. And it says that the Susquehannocks are a giant like people and thus a tyrant or a tyrant. And so in other words, if they want to control over Virginia, they would have to eliminate the Susquehannocks and the Powhatans, which is exactly what they did. And if we take a look at some more illustrations of these Susquehannocks and Powhatans, you can see that they weren't human. They were not the Native Americans that we know of today. In fact, the Native American humans were the first humans to occupy North America, but they were not the first people. And the English used them to help eliminate the giants, promising them that they would get to share the land when the giants were gone. And so they provided them with weapons to do so. And at the end of the day, after the giants were gone, they also got the boot. They were forced to walk across the country and out of the East States. And then after that, it was the elimination of the wolves and the bears and the cougars, and then cutting down the forest. This is what they did. And it's all there. All the evidence, all the proof is right here in the, from the state of Virginia. So it's been one of the most fascinating places to study because this is where first contact happened with these Powhatan, Susquehannock, giant-like people. It's all there. This has to be truthful. Do you think that this is a hoax? to the Queen of England when it comes to taking over this country? No. It had to be extremely precise, accurate, and truthful. This is not a hoax. This is real. This is true. These are facts. Thank you so much for joining me on this fascinating historical account of first contact with the giants in the state of Virginia. I really appreciate you watching and listening, and please subscribe and hit the like for next video about Virginia's cryptids. My name's Jenna Bosiger, and until next time, bye!